In a lot of my previous videos, I've been showing you how to grow a tight beat channel for your beat selling and driving traffic to your beat store. Now, this whole time, I've been using my own tight beat channel, JG Beats, as an example when it comes to growing a tight beat channel. And you've seen over the past year and a half how I've been growing it, mistakes I have made and documented, and things I've changed up along the way, as well as different strategies to help me increase the growth of the channel. But I always thought, what would happen if I had to start? again knowing everything that i know now and applying it to this new type of channel to try and grow an engaged audience and drive traffic to my beats at the same time curiously i've been wanting to do this for a while in the form of a reposting channel because i now have nearly 500 beats up on my beat store so i thought how can i drive more traffic to the beats rather than just the one type beat channel when it comes to driving traffic from youtube in previous videos i have documenting the results of reposting beats on my own type beat channel but what i wanted to really test is if i post them on a different channel try and get the algorithm going for a certain type of beat could i create a healthy second type beat channel which will drive traffic to my beats and perform if not better than my original type beat channel knowing what i know now about seo and branding when it comes to youtube type beat channels so over the past 60 days i have been conducting that exact experiment and at the end of this video i'm going to show you the results of starting a new type of channel from scratch all the tips and tricks that i've applied to this channel to help it grow and seeing if there's actually any substance to having a second type beat channel so if you're a beat maker and you're new to this channel make sure you smash the subscribe button right now as not only is it the best way to support the channel but i really do guarantee you are going to learn something from this video if you are struggling to grow your type of channel right now so make sure you stick around to the end because there's a lot of source to give to you in this video Okay, so the first thing we need is a plan. Now, when it came to my original type beat channel, the one problem that I had was there was a lot of experimenting in the early days, which meant there was a lot of slow growth at the start. But with this type beat channel in 60 days, I really wanted to try and get some decent results to share with you. So I sat down and I really thought about what type of beats I wanted to do on this channel. Now, after looking through my nearly 500 beats, I wanted to find a niche which didn't really perform the best on my type beat channel, but be something that I've made a lot of. So I've got a lot of back catalog of content to really reproduce repackage and repurpose for this type of channel that we're doing in this 60 day challenge after a little bit of research i decided that indie pop beats was one that i was going to target because having looked on youtube a lot of indie pop beats get a lot of views and i also had certain niches within indie pop which i could really hammer home which i don't think were oversaturated at the time of doing this video unfortunately i make a lot of lauv and lanny and the 1975 type beats so i decided i was going to go for indie pop and just sticking to them free artists but I would say mainly Lauv and Lanny as the two do go very well together as they actually have collabed as artists in the industry as well so after I knew what the niche is that I was going to do I had to really sort out the branding and how I was going to package this channel to make sure that it performed well on all parameters of YouTube statistics so the first thing was to make a logo and I wanted to go for the sort of cloud theme because when I was typing on YouTube a lot of thumbnails that rank really high and have good click-through rates not only on my own typing channel but also on YouTube in general seem to have clouds or some sort of nice background which is very aesthetically pleasing to look at and indie pop there's a certain vibe which i wanted to get so i decided that i was going to do clouds mainly sunsets and sunrises because that's when you have that golden hour then really beautiful orange warm feels which could really fit into the indie pop niche that i'm going for so to give you an example this is the type of thumbnail that i was going for i was going for this sort of font because i felt like it really suited the vibe that i was going for and again with the sort of clouds the sort of sunset sunrises vibes it's just really nice and warm and gives it a little bit of an indie feel and you can see on the channel there is the common theme throughout so when it comes to audience retention and retail and people who viewed my beats before they will be able to make that association with my channel which will hopefully drive a lot more repeat viewers the next thing to think about was the title and now for the title of my videos for seo optimization i really wanted to get to the point and not overthink these titles so i went for something very simple i went for free chill indie pop x lanny x lauv type beats for when it was a mixture some of the beats were more towards lanny some of them were more towards lauv so there's a little bit of variation in the beats if i think something's more of a lauv beat and doesn't have any lanny influence i didn't put both of them in really wanted to be very specific to the artist so if it was an artist style i wanted to honor that artist not just throw in extra artist names for the sake of it and then when it comes to the description one thing i want to do is keep it simple again so i came up with this very very simple description where the first link in the first line has to be the one to download the license straight to the point so if people want to buy the license it's very easy for them to see where they can go and get it 
I've also got a link below for my beat store as well, which is a lot more optimized version of a pro page where I built myself on Wix. So if people want to actually browse indie pop beats, they can go on there and look further. And also with an email below, not only for custom beat inquiries, but Instagram as well. So it's another way to network because sometimes artists do reach out to me on Instagram or my old type of channel. So I wanted to keep that in with this type of channel as well. And the last thing I wanted to do was create playlists because playlists is a very underrated way to get extra views on your channel. So I've created four playlists and I'm not going to try and overthink it more than that. We've got indie pop beats, loud beats, Beats, Lanny beats and the 1975 beats. As you can see, I've only uploaded one of my 1975 beats so far. So at the time of recording this video, so that one isn't really helpful. But you can see there's a nice substantial amount of beats on there. And over time, one thing I definitely found on my own type of channel with Taylor Swift beats, I had the top ranking playlist on YouTube for Taylor Swift type beats. And the results of having that there was incredible. So I really wanted to try long term to try and replicate that with Lauv and Lanny. So time will tell if they will rank. But I wanted to have playlists on my channel because I think it's very important for driving that extra traffic and getting more views on your beats. And when it comes to posting times, because I have a back catalog of like 40 indie pop beats, I was going to post once every two days and then after about 20 or 30 beats once every three days so I could really stretch out the beats as long as possible while I make more indie pop beats to in the future for this channel as well. So at the time of recording this video, we were uploading once every two days. So when you see the results, that is the upload time frame that we had. Okay, now I think it's time to actually show you the results. Now I've explained everything that I was going to do. So we officially started this on the 24th of October and the results go as followed. In that time, we had 8,700 views on our videos. The most viewed video being 1,839 views. We actually had three videos which got over 1,000 views, which is really cool. 107 hours of watch time and we've gained 102 subscribers, which after 60 days, if I'm being honest, this completely surpasses the growth that I had on my original Typey channel at the start tenfold. The one thing I really want to emphasize from these results is, which I'm going to show you now, is the time frame that it took to actually get the ball running of the channel because the whole point of being hyper niche on uploading your beats is to train the algorithm to know exactly what people to pump your beats out to so by uploading beats consistently i was always just trying to train the algorithm that i wanted people who like loud beats lanny beats and indie pop to listen to the beats so you can see here the growth is very very slow at the start if we go in terms of views at the start we were getting about 10 19 25 views a day but eventually one day it just turns on a knife edge and all of a sudden the algorithm was pumping out suggested views on all of my videos and the views have suddenly climbed and since then we are now growing at a very good rate and we're now on this really consistent trend line which is the result of consistent uploading and everything I've just talked about in this video applied together to give the algorithm the best chance of understanding who to pump my beats out to. Again we're only targeting indie pop as the more broad niche but when we've been more hyper focused we're talking about Lauv and Lani type beats specifically and because even though they're big artists in their sub genre they're not actually a mainstream huge artist like your Ed Sheeran's, Drake's, your Taylor Swift's Swifts or Lil Wayne, if, uh, whatever genre we're talking about, it meant it was a lot easier for me to rank higher on these artists after posting the content for enough time so the algorithm knew exactly who my audience was. In conclusion, I think after 60 days, this is an incredible return because I've grown YouTube channels multiple times in the past and sometimes it's taken me up to six months to get 102 subscribers. But, but to get it under two months is just a very, very good return on the sort of investment of time that I've put into growing this. And you've got to remember this whole time, this is just reposting and repurposing beats that were on my original Typey channel. And I can tell you now, all of these beats are getting more views on here than they were on my Typey channel. So if you're someone who uploads a lot of different beats onto your channel, it might be worth creating sub-genre type beat channels to really start to home in on the algorithm for them type beats because you could be missing out on a lot of views which in conclusion would be a lot of traffic to your beats to actually make beat sales and one thing I've noticed I've had a lot more free downloads on indie pop beats on my website since I started this I haven't made any sales but it is Christmas it's that time of the year I'm only selling Christmas beats in my whole beat selling brand at the moment in general so I'm not worried about the lack of sales I think next year when we get to that spring summer time when indie pop really comes into own I think we're really going to start making money from this type beat channel so yeah guys let me know what you think in the comments below is this a good idea should you try this out for yourself if you've got any questions as well drop them below i'll be happy to answer but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video keep making music and i'll see you in the next video